what's up everyone welcome to the second video of the first module so in this video we are going to create um, the game board the main game board where we will play the game basically you can say we are going to create um, you know the board yeah the board obviously so let's get into the IDE and let's get started so as you can see here I'm using PyCharm uh, don't get worried if you have not seen the first video of the you know the introduction video where I taught you how to set up the environment for you know to start coding in Python just go and watch it don't skip any part otherwise you'll miss everything because everything is related to each other so what you what you need is a ID or a text editor so if you're using Visual Studio Code, no problem. You just need to install the Python extension from the, you know, from extensions in Visual Studio Code. And if you're using PyCharm, very good. If you're using Atom or Sublime, no problem. So what you need to do is, first of all, we will need, so first of all, we'll create the board, right? So for the board, how the board will look so let me tell you if you are creating any project for start if you have started creating any project first of all just you know the ideas that you have write it down on a piece of note or just you know make a road map of those things like what you want to do or how you want it to look how you want it to function so first of all what I need to do first in this whole project first thing I need to do is I need to display the board right so for this uh, how first of all I need to you know see how this you know board will look so the board will look like this I need to I want to keep it simple the board will look like this nothing much like this it's so simple so for this what do we need to do for this we need to just get our hands dirty on python that's it nothing else so let's see let's see how we can create the board let's let's first define a function not a function actually let's first define a um what's that called list so let's put that list in a variable and so that we can print it out let's do so this list will basically hold the containers you know um, where we will put our x and o's like this sorry and like this like this like this like so it's 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 really easy nothing's complicated if you make things complicated it will become complicated <laughs> so this, this is how our board will look right so let's see so let's print this um, main board out let's see what what we get so we are getting this one this thing what is this nothing but the list that we defined here so we don't want this to look like this with this you know square brackets and this quotations so for that let's let's um, define a function let's define a function so for define a function you have to start like this def and then the function name so let's define a function so what will be the work of the function the main task of this function will be to display the board so let's give the name of the function as display board display board that's it we are going cool so now what you need to do let's print this function will basically print out right so let's say print main board index 0 I'll tell you everything that I'm doing just follow along me and like this 
let's give main board index one next plus boom and another thing that we need is main board index two so main board index two yeah so basically what it is doing so let's let's first um comment this out sorry let's comment this out what we are doing here is we are printing main boards index zero so as you know the first you know the first element here has an index of zero and then it it's one it's two then three then four then five and it's go it goes on so it starts with zero so the first index is zero not one always remember this so basically we are printing out the main index zero of the main board which is this which will print out this one and then it will print out this one this is the plus sign or the concatenation sign it, 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 it basically means like it is concatenating this you know string with this one and then index one it will print this then this again and then index two which will print this so let's let's uh, run this by just calling the function display board let's see if we get any error or not so boom we got the first three you know parts of our board let's create the next three parts like this v v so what you need to do you are intelligent enough to understand we need to change the index right so two so let's go three three and next one will be four next one will be five and so on it will go on up to eight six seven so here you can see zero one two three four five six seven eight so if, if you just run it out we get our board boom so it's it's really interesting we get our board so let's let's make the board a little clean like by just giving spaces some spaces here which will just add some spaces on the board and which will which will give some air to breathe right so we get oh sorry we got an extra space yeah so there you go we go and get our clean looking board that's it so let's let's delete this line 11 and let's do something like this so let's define another function which will which will be the main function of this whole project which will play the game so we we do not need to call every each and every function that we define in our project one by one so if you define just one function it will call each function so let's define a function called play game which will basically play the game and let's go by this that's that's it that's it so let's call now play game so if you run this we'll get the same thing so if you, if you define multiple functions in this code we will just call it in the play game and this play game will contain the main game logic right so that's it now after so this this is the end of this video but before going i'll show you how to format this code so for formatting you need to know some basic things like before functions you need to have two lines of space so these lines that you can see which makes a load uh, code looking you know the code is basically looking really bad because of this line so just give two spaces here give two spaces here and we get a clean looking code and so just solve these things
so let's run this let's see if we get any error or not we're not getting any error so you can give um, some you know comments here and which is a really good practice so let's give some comments so what is the function of this display board this function will display the board that's it that's it and what is the function of this play game this function contains um, some contains basically contains the game logic and holds other functions functions right so let's suppose you are giving the comment for um, uh, this function just keep it above it no need of you know taking it to somewhere else or uh, keeping it two lines above the function otherwise nobody will be able to understand so why this comments are necessary this comments are necessary because suppose you are coding for four hours you took a break for two to three hours or you know you came the next day so you will not be able to understand what is the function of this function so for that for this you know comments are really helpful and if someone looks at your code this comments will help a lot so that's it that's it for today see you in the next video of the first module peace out